new to the UK market is a previous US release of Santa Sangra by Severin uh, Alejandro Jodorowsky's wonderful horror film from 1989. Surprisingly, this is probably his most accessible movie, uh, which isn't saying much because the imagery, the story that he tells, everything is built up in a wonderful crescendo that just screams masterpiece. Every time I sit down to watch this movie, it absolutely zips by and I am captivated by the characters, the framing, the, the ideas and the imagery that's created here. This is a wonderfully affecting horror film that is very elevated, that has more to say than just scares. It has oodles of atmosphere, it has these vibrant kill sequences of blood and gore, it has this wonderful thematic behind it about misspent youth or, or misappropriated youth that leads into a disturbed adulthood and is just phenomenal. The elephant is dying. Please, don't die. In this film we follow Phoenix, a man who at the start is in a mental hospital who is very detached from normal life. In a flashback sequence, we get to see his life as a child, living in a circus. His father was a knife thrower. His mother was a tightrope walker. Everything kind of takes a turn when a tattooed woman comes in and kind of imbalances this marriage as the knife thrower really finds this woman attractive. And throughout the course of events, and some blood-soaked sequences, we see that uh, the mother and father die uh, in horrible, murderous circumstances with their son viewing on at the horrors to behold. No praise, no style. You've got to move my fingers more elegantly. <sighs> but all through this boy's life, all through Phoenix's life, he's seen atrocities, he's seen horrible things, he hasn't been comforted, controlled, held away from these, that you've almost been pushed in front of these horrific situations and forced to absorb them all, culminating with his parents' deaths. And as we follow this character into his adulthood, into the sanitarium that he is in, we kind of see him changing coming out of his shell a little bit, starting to reintegrate himself back into the world, escaping from the asylum and continuing a murderous rampage. Who are you? Heralded by his mother who reappears and starts to take over his life. I love Santa Sangra because it's this wonderful movie that you really feel as so as to say um, this is all about control I, I see in aspects of it where it's been taken from this child they're not allowed to be a child not allowed to do childish things they've been treated very adult and brought into that world and it has seriously imbalanced them even going into their adulthood they feel as if their actions they feel as if their limbs are not their own everything is still being controlled they're puppeted from beyond the grave by their dead parents and the actions and inactions that they had on their son. But there is so much fantastic imagery around this one that just makes the movie sing in my eyes from the score to the floating ethereal camera to the wonderful imagery that Jodorowsky brings forth. Every scene had me searching for various different wonderful images that were there. The vibrant characters that jump off the screen, the horrifically torturous, blood-soaked murder sequences are horrific and that sometimes can be darkly humorous. This is a film with a rich vein of dark humour through it as well. It is as much repellent as it is hilarious, and that is an unusual balance to find in this one. I could go on about Santa Sangra for the longest while. But I shouldn't have to. You should be checking this one out. It is 
phenomenal. For me, it's a five out of five film. It is essential. This is an absolutely rammed package. So let's dive in and start to dig through some of the extras on this essential purchase. Here we are in the disc for Santa Sangra. Let's go to the bonus features. You have an audio commentary with Alejandro Jodorowsky and journalist Alan Jones. We have Jodorowsky on the restoration of Santa Sangra, which is 31 minutes 50 seconds. And I'd say, it, tying him down to that one subject matter is a bit favourable because he goes all over the place in this long interview, which is rather good. Then we have Deleted Scenes with Director Commentary, which runs at 7 minutes 35 seconds, and the theatrical trailer. That's the extras for disc 1. We're in the disc for Santa Sangra, this is all the extras. There are a wealth of them. I will try to run through and just talk a little bit about some of the ones that I liked. First up, Forget Everything You've Ever Seen. The World of Santa Sangra is a feature-length documentary at 1 hour 36 minutes. It's extensive, it's brilliant, talking to lots of people that worked in the film and is probably the best on this disc. Like a Phoenix interview with producer Claudio Argento, which is 38 minutes. Um, I didn't realise this was Dario's brother. Um, he's immensely proud of making this film. Uh, he gets that across very early on and talks about some anecdotal stories, particularly working in Mexico City. Then we have Holy Blood, an interview with Daniel Nanunzi, which is 47 minutes. He talks about the working relationship with Jodorowsky, uh, some of his favourite scenes, including the kids on cocaine. <laughs> Next up, we have Mexican Magic, interview with executive producer Angelo Ayacono, which is 36 minutes, 7 seconds. And he talks a lot about the shooting schedule, how they managed to stick to the 12-week schedule, um, and a lot about working on the set and the feelings of people while they were there. The language of editing, interview with editor Mauro Bonani, which is 21 minutes, 13 seconds. He tells a wonderful anecdote about the informal hiring that took place for him and the complete disbelief that he's working on a Jodorowsky film. Innocence in Horror, interview with screenwriter Roberto Leone, is 28 minutes, 48 seconds. Talking about his treatment for a film, bringing it up to Jodorowsky, discussing it, and then completely changing everything and moving into something else. Then we have the Santa Sangra 30th anniversary celebration, which is 10 minutes. Um, lots of people dressed up as characters, Q&As, talking heads of some of the stars. We have Goyo Cardenas, Brie Color, which is 17 minutes, 48 seconds. I had no idea this movie was somewhat based on a real character, yeah, a very disturbing one, as the documentary alludes to, um, and surprising considering the film is so fantastic. Then we have several Jodorowsky interviews and Q&As. This one is 32 minutes. The Q&A is 25 minutes. We have a short which comes with a commentary or no commentary, which is just four minutes long. We have another interview with Jodorowsky, which is seven minutes, 57 seconds. A music video and Blink Jodorowsky, a short by Simon Wozzle, which is two minutes in length. And that's the extras for Santa Sangra. Santa Sangra. 4K limited edition package is a must own. It's a terrific movie. It is going to be a unique movie in your collection. One of Jodorowsky's very best and a complete 100% essential own. Amazing package full of incredible extras and an absolutely astonishing film at the heart of it as well with a stunning transfer. Pick it up. You won't be sorry. It's amazing. I'd love to know if you have seen this film, your thoughts on it, so let me know in the comment box below whether you're picking this up or not. Of course, there's more content up here. You can see more of my stuff. And in the description box below are links to Patreon, membership program, and bfilm.com. Always in which you could support. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.